And while we are enjoying comfortable and cooler temperatures, that isn't stopping the spread of the flu. It seems to be everywhere, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And 13 ABC's Megan Daniels talking with medical professionals about the numbers and what we can do to try and chew the flu. She's live in studio with the health alert tonight. Megan. Well, Lee, Christian, the holiday season is meant to be the happiest and busiest time of the year. But it can all come to a screeching halt when someone in the family comes down with a fever. And this year, flu season is hitting Ohio hard. The current flu season is proving to be one of the worst in years. According to the Ohio Department of Health, so far there are 72 flu hospitalizations to date in Northwest Ohio, and that number is low compared to the rest of the state. Dr. Hajibu, an internal medicine physician with the University of Toledo Medical Center, says part of the problem is people aren't taking the same precautions this year and germs are spreading. I think with the pandemic, we saw a decrease in flu over the last couple of years. Now we're not wearing masks, you know, people are going out about doing things. We're seeing a lot more of the flu coming up. When it comes to treating the flu, it all comes down to damage control. I'm not going to be able to 100% prevent the flu, but if you get your vaccine, hopefully we could just make it a mild case rather than the severe case that, yeah, yeah, that you require that. hospitalization. If you do get sick with the virus this year, good old-fashioned methods of self-care are what Dr. Hajibu prescribes. Lots of, um, you know, uh, over-the-counter medications that you can help to help the symptoms. And most of the time, flu, we're trying to help the symptoms rather than the, there's no cure for it. Dr. Hajibu also suggests check with your pharmacist to make sure the over-the-counter medications that you choose to use don't interact with any other medications you're taking. Reporting live, Megan Daniels, 13ABC Action News.